Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling God Smith, and you guys are watching On Wrestling. This next video, I just did my raw review. You guys can check that out now, whenever you guys wish. This one, this is going to be the SmackDown video, because I wanted to make it yesterday, but I was too hyped up about it, so I need to sleep. Because I got a lot of stuff to cover. And the first thing I want to cover, yesterday, SmackDown was good. It was better than Raw. Than it was. It was an A plus because you know what, yo, the new day came out. Like the first match I'm going to talk about was the Kurt Angle, AJ Styles and Randy Orton match. Like that match was hype. Like, yo, like Kurt Angle still got it. Like he 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 was doing some suit. He was doing like three German suplexes. Did two did two ankle locks on AJ Styles and Randy Orton. And then Olympic Slam, and he still won. Like he, I think he lost, but it was just a great match. It was a five star match because he tried to get he AJ tried to get with that that um, phenomenal forearm, and it like he, like angle like, like and this is you know what that match reminded me of that T and them TNA days like, angle and AJ. That's that TNA days, man. Slam anniversary, bro. Two thousand five, man. I remember that. Like that was cool. But you know what? In the second match with the oh my god, the second match with with Charlotte and Oscar, like they were just, they were just going at it. Like the crowd was hyped into it. Like I was too. I was hyped. Like the the submissions, like them, like counting each other and like like I like how Charlotte did like maybe like she did like two or three spears and Oscar still didn't. She didn't. She didn't need a pin. Like she had to eat a submission, and like. She did the she did the moon sort off the top rope onto the outside. Oscar did the suicide dive. Like she was she was doing a lot, man. And the funny thing is she tried to do the um she tried to do her submission move. And Oscar, like somehow how she beat she broke out of Oscar's thing. She broke out of it. And then and then Charlotte did the um the, the figure eight. Which was like like that figure eight, bro, like it took it took all of like it took all his um Oscar's willpower and like not to like eat that G eight. She lost the title, but I'm not really mad though. Because I like that Oscar and Charlotte have a right like they do have a heated rivalry. It was good. And then the other match I liked, which was um which was really good too. I like the um I like the Rey Mysterio. I like the Rey Mysterio and the Samoa Joe match, because that match was hype too, because Ray still got it. I don't care if he's 40. That dude still has Like, he still has it, man. And the surprising factor is, like, he pretty much, like, like whatever Joe tried to do, Ray had a counter for. Like, this dude had a counter for the Coquina Clutch. And he, what he did was, like, he, he what he did was he did a hurricane. Like, what he did was he, he broke out of, like, he grabbed him. Like, he dragged himself. Like, he dragged Joe with, with his back to get to the ropes and he had a counter for it so what he did was okay he broke out of it and then he did, he did the um the sense on like the the sent on splash in the 450 and then he did the 619 joe ate the pin which that was a hype match like i'll give like ray wants to be united states champion i think him being united states champion now is really a good push for him too and andrade did come out and try to ambush him but um andrade like he, he had a 619 too he ate one and the ma the next match I want to talk about, which was the Gauntlet match, because it comes in, like, five parts. Like, the first team, like, yo, Kofi, no, eight, no, Xavier Woods and Big E, bro, well, they did a promo about it, and they and they waited for Mr. McMahon to come out, and Mr. McMahon said, I'll make you a deal. If you beat the Gauntlet, you get, he gets his world title shot. It's, bro, yo, they fought every team in the books. Like, Rusev and Nakamura are just like freaking, are ruthless. Like, like, like Rusev was targeting the knee with the accolade. He kicked like he he did Kinshasa on his knee a couple of times. Like, but the one thing I liked about Kofi, like he had a, a lot of good. Like Xavier had a lot of good spots. Like he was hyped. Like he went, he was fighting. I saw a different Xavier Woods. Like this dude literally came up and beat like this. He did everything. He did his DDT. He did the. He did his um. I think he did a. Th I think he had to do a seven twenty, and he did a seven twenty. He did the midnight hour with Biggie catching him, and, and they fell in the, 
on fell on top of on top of Rusev and Nakamura. But I think um Biggie had the big ending, so they, they were knocked out pretty easily. And then the next match was um the bar. Cause it was the bar against um it was the bar against like New Day. And the bar, like I don't I don't care what anybody says, their tag team work is ridiculous because they were lucky that um he was lucky that he was gonna get Sheamus. That was luck. Because Sheamus got him with the with the bro kick and got him with the um the Celtic cross. And then Cesaro tried to get him with the sharpshooter and he's he's just, they were just pounding on E's knee. I'm surprised that knee took so much damage though. Like I thought he was gonna just and they beat him. Like and what Xavier did, which like I mean Kofi did which I liked. He took um what he did with like Sheamus, he knocked him into the barricade. And then what Xavier did, he he did the small like he, he did the sunset pin, the sunset flip into the pin, and he got him. And then the next team they had to fight was the Usos. But the thing I liked about the Usos was like they like even though it was him and Xavier when they were tired and they were like beaten. They weren't gonna fight him. They they forfeited, bro. That was like, the best thing. It was like we, we they already earned that. He already earned our respect. He already earned your the bro the brother that needs to be. He they were like the guy that needs to be um, WWE um Royal with champion, is Kofi and they dropped the mic and they forfeited. They just said they weren't gonna do it. That was that was, that was I, that was real respect, bro. I don't care what anybody says. Smackdown. The roster, the tag teams, man, the dudes had respect. And the crazy thing was, in the final match, which was the which was the new day against Daniel Bryan and Rowan. Oh my god, like yo, like Daniel Bryan tried to make this dude tap with the with the, the with the Boston Crab and he still wouldn't tap. And then he got tired and he tagged in Xavier. Xavier started doing kicks and talk, like he started like countering everything that Brian did. And Rowan comes in to kick and he, he super kicked Rowan in the head. He fell. And then the craziest thing, which Big E, which I think all you would have liked, like bro, this dude took the his straps off and he had his legs like Honda, like he had the pose like Honda and stuff. And this dude had a good spot, like he was wait, he was literally waiting for, he was waiting for Daniel Bryan to get, give him the big ending. This dude gave him the big ending. And mid, like, the dude was going to do the knees to Big E. And he caught him at midair and did the big ending in midair. Like, that's how hype it was with that gauntlet match. That gauntlet match was sick. And the craziest thing was that they didn't even win by pin. They won by count out. And what, what the smartest thing was, they put, like, Big E put the announce table on Rowan. And, like, they're sitting in the ring waiting for the ref to count it out. This dude wasn't even, like, he was staring, but he wasn't moving. And so they were like, he was like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everybody was counting. I was counting, too. Eight, nine, ten, and they won. And everybody came out and celebrated, bro. That's why I'm, yo, WrestleMania this year is going to be cool. And I think, I think, I think it's Kofi's time. I really do. He, he won that match. He won that opportunity. But through all the tribulation, that dude gonna fight. He gonna beat Daniel Bryan. He gonna beat him. Like yo, he deserves that opportunity. Him and Seth are gonna do it. And everybody came out. Kevin Owens came out. The Lucha House Party. Becky Lynch. Everybody came out. The Usos. All the team. Um. Yo, all the brothers came out to support him, and that was cool. I liked it. And then, and then, um, what is it? Byron Saxton came out and said, "I'm gonna celebrate with y'all." Like this dude took off the headset, said, "Bro, got in the mix." Everybody got in, even the fans. Like, yo, Kofi deserved it, bro. And I and I liked it. Like, like SmackDown was awesome, dude. It was awesome, and I think like. Kofi getting the WWE title and just, just showing the world, like, just showing what he can do. Like, that's just, that's real, that's real determination and grit. I and that's, I haven't seen the New Day, the New Day actually get like this in a while. Like, that's what I think Vince was trying to really do. I think he was trying to push him. And I like the fact that he was trying to do that, too. And I like that he wasn't really holding back, but he was doing it, though. And the smart thing was... 
Like, he had an idea, and he knew how to do it. And I like that he was actually trying to push Kofi. Like, I like... I like I liked the idea. I liked the idea because it was something new. It was something we never would see before in our lives. And that was the thing. And, and like I said, Raw um, SmackDown was just good yesterday. It was amazing. And like I usually don't really get to catch SmackDown because you know I wrote the things. But yesterday, guys, like I said, SmackDown is good. I think it's Kofi's time. I think. Kevin Owens being the face and him having his little own talk show doing the, the Chris Jericho thing, which was good. And I think because I think for Chris Jericho to leave, to go to AEW and, and Kevin Owens being the guy that he is, which I think at some point he probably will be a WWE champion. I do. I do. And Kofi getting that title and like, that's what I mean. That means the dynamic. That means thirty WrestleMania thirty five is gonna be the longest pay per view ever. It's gonna be the longest pay per view. They're gonna have a bunch of matches coming in. Same thing with Takeover, and this isn't just Takeover. This isn't just like a thing. This is like a big. This is gonna be a big opportunity. But anyway, guys, like and comment and subscribe to this video. Peace.